If you have a hard time maintaining momentum in freestyle, and from time to time you feel that you're slowing down, sinking, and also when you try to breathe, all you see is a wall of water? Well, in this video, I'll be addressing exactly what that issue is and steps to help provide a solution for your training. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Swim Vice channel. I'm Coach Mandy, and in this video, I'll be specifically addressing the arm moving forward in freestyle. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner. And if you're already a returning subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell as I post videos weekly. So a common struggle that I see with most swimmers is just trying to maintain momentum and also just trying to have enough space to create to be able to breathe with ease and not feel like you are hitting a bunch of water and you feel like you're physically sinking. The reason why this is happening is because the arm moving forward is physically stalling at various points within the stroke cycle. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what happens to your body position if you physically stall the arm and also steps in order to correct it. So keep watching. Okay, so here's the breakdown for this video. First, I'm going to demonstrate stalling at the release of the arm moving forward. Secondly, I'm going to show you a demo where I'm stalling at the entry of the arm moving forward. And lastly, a bonus training tip so you can watch how to correct this movement in your training. Okay, so in this demonstration, watch the arm that comes out of the water. I slow it down at exit and you can see by my cap alone how I kind of pop back up and then sink, which then makes breathing hard as well because it forces you to look behind you and lift your head higher because you feel that you're sinking. And here you can clearly see the difference underwater with the arm stalling on exit. Okay, so in this video, you can see that my arm stalls right at the entry. And I see this all the time. And what happens is you completely sink. If you look at my cap, kind of pops back up and then sinks again every time I slow down. And here's just a bonus view on seeing how it looks underwater when you stall the arm on entry. So how to correct this is you're going to start off with a few strokes with purpose to slow down at one point of the stroke cycle moving forward. And then you finish it by correcting the arm movement by releasing it forward and not worrying about slowing it down from exit to entry. So as you see, when I correct it, you see a clear difference in momentum moving forward as well as my cap staying evenly on the surface. Also making it easier to breathe. All right, so I hope you enjoyed those video demonstrations. And it became an eye-opening experience to physically see what happens to a swimmer when you stall the arm at various points within the stroke cycle. Now, I want to end this video with a question for you. The next time you go to the pool, try some of these strategies out and drop a comment below and let me know how it goes. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and click the links below in the description of this video to help with your training. All right, you guys, I'm signing off and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, stay tuned for more.